Okay, so this is the newly launched Oppo Find N2 Flip and we got it for 90,000 rupees. Hold on to that thought. So as of now, in India, only two companies launched folding phone. Number one, Samsung for the past three to four years and they are in the fourth generation and doing a really good job. Number two, Motorola with the Moto Razr, but that never took off. And this would be the third company or the biggest foldable launch after Samsung. Now we have tried foldables from Xiaomi, Vivo, Oppo, Find N2 Fold. Basically all foldables that are available around the world to buy. And we have been using the Z Flip 4 for about six months now. And there is one thing that I've observed about all these foldables. And link to the all products you can find below in the product tag. But before we get to that, the Oppo box is very grand, I must say. Now you get a case, 66 watt charger, and plus we had screen protector pre-applied on the inner display as well as the outer display. But we have already unboxed the global variant. You can watch that here, uh, here. Now this is the Oppo Find N2 Flip. It might sound like the second generation of Flip, but this is actually the first generation of Oppo Flip. And there are two things which the Oppo foldable does better. Number one, Oppo is using the all new Flexion hinge. Now in simple words, the folding area of the display is bigger now. Like if you see the device, from this angle, you can barely see the crease in the display. And even sideways, if I move my finger over it, I can hardly feel the crease in the display. And that's why see side by side, it closes flat and there is almost no gap. Whereas if you see in Z Flip 4, there is a gap here. Now one thing I felt is, Oppo promises that if you fold the display 100 times a day, the hinge will last 10 years. But in my day-to-day -day usage, the hinge feels a bit loose, not that sturdy. And you can see, you can put the Flip 4 at these angles. But if you do the same with the Oppo Flip, see, it doesn't last. Now the display is also the brightest folding display. You get 1600 nits of peak brightness. And even the display can go from 1 to 120 hertz all the way. But in our testing, as you can see, it stays at 120 hertz. And when you open some apps like YouTube, it goes to 60 hertz. Or this Oppo browser, it goes to 60 hertz. That's it. Most of the time, it just stays between 60 and 120 hertz. And here's the biggest achievement. If you see side by side, the Oppo Find N2 Flip is just a bit thicker than Flip 4. And if you close it, it is also a bit wider. But by doing that, Oppo has managed to put a 4300 mAh battery inside this Flip. Now, the battery life should be about the same because again, you have this bigger screen over here, which would lead to more battery consumption. Number two, you get this 3.26 inch cover display, which if you see side by side against Z Flip, it is huge. And the good thing is, if you open the camera preview, you can clearly see the photos you are taking. But the sad part is, Oppo doesn't let you do much on this screen. You can just view the weather, set a timer, which even this little screen on Flip 4 can do. Plus here, have a look. I got notification on both the phones. Now I can read it on Oppo Flip, but I can only reply through predefined text templates. Plus here on Flip 4, you can actually ask it to type everything, comma, and make sure your friend doesn't lose his job to AI. Shameless plug, hiring a techwiser, link below. But thank God, you have a third-party app called Cover Screen for the Oppo Flip. It lets you run any app on this big screen. So basically, you can type, reply to messages, or even this one's my favorite, watch YouTube shorts on it. This is the ideal display size for shorts. By the way, subscribe to TechWiser for ideal shorts. Also, have a look at these camera samples. The Oppo Find N2 Flip has a 50 megapixel camera with Hasselblad. But have a look at this photo side by side. Not just the colors. If you see around my face, body, there's this halo effect with Oppo Flip. Even I took a selfie video and if you watch at this point closely, the brightness and exposure change on Oppo Flip is choppy, like you can see it. Now, after using all these foldables, the answer comes down to one thing, and that is software. Samsung has the best software in terms of smartphones and really good software in terms of foldables. Now, even if we keep cameras aside, Samsung has Samsung Pay, and you can use your card just tap and pay from the cover screen. And I'm not even talking about the Samsung ecosystem features with the Samsung Watch, Buds, Tablet, TV, etc. Like you would get a Samsung TWS which seamlessly connects to your Galaxy Watch and then connects back to your Z Flip 4 when you're watching a video on it. There are tons of ecosystem features. Plus, I noticed you get Candy Crush, hot games, hot apps on the Oppo Flip phone. Like you can uninstall it, but bloatware is on a premium foldable. And even if you keep aside the software, in terms of hardware, you get IPX7 rating on the Z Flip 4. And this is very important because foldables are still new technology. So that IP rating doesn't give you a warranty claim, but it still gives you confidence to put money in a flip or fold. Z Flip 4 also has wireless charging as well as reverse wireless charging, which surprisingly is not present on 
Oppo Flip. Rest, the Oppo Flip comes with Dimensity 9000 Plus. You can again consider it to be around Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. The performance for a flagship is not that bad. Now, in my opinion, all of these flagship features wouldn't have mattered if the Oppo Flip costs less than 70,000 or let's just say 80,000. And one more interesting thing. San, how much did you get the Z Flip for? I got it for 44,000. What? How <laughs> Uh, I had the S21, so I exchanged that, got 35,000 and some extra back offers. And as of now, you get the Galaxy Z Flip 4 for around 80,000 rupees. And if you add in like 2999, you get the expensive Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Which is what Samsung does. You buy a phone, you pay a little bit extra and you get an expensive watch or expensive buds. Now, Oppo Find N2 Flip cost 89999 with discounts, card offers. You can get it for 85,000. But again, the Oppo Flip N2 costs about the same as Z Flip 4 and in my opinion, it makes sense to get a Samsung device. Since the polished software and hardware makes it stand better in the competition, this is Oppo's first version of folding, oh sorry, flipping phone. Having said that, it's very good to see other brands launching their foldables in India because foldables are selling really well globally. And foldables are something which keeps innovation on smartphones. Also, it pushes Samsung to be more innovative or at least reduce the pricing. On that note, this is Pradeesh signing off. See ya pretty soon. Pew, pew, pew.